What is up everybody? My name is Kenny Nguyen. I am your ITA video ambassador coming out from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, I just want to say Happy New Year's. Uh, this is my first English lesson and tonight uh, I have another class. It's going to be about 7.30. Right now it's about 12 so we have several hours to go before my next lesson. I'm pretty starving so uh, right now we are in District 1. That is like the downtown area of Ho Chi Minh City and we're going to find some really delicious street food to eat. I'm going to take you guys around the city and uh, show you guys what the street food scene is like. Um, but today we are only going to be spending about 200,000 Vietnam dollars. I'm not going to spend any more than this. I really want to show you guys how cheap it is to eat around Ho Chi Minh City. This is about 9 US dollars from the last time I checked. Let's walk around District 1, you know, check out the scenery and find some delicious street food. Hey, uh, một cái soy gà. Soy gà. Yes. Soy gà. It's called uh, soy gà. I purchased this for about 25,000 Vietnam dong and basically it's like a savory glutinous rice dish. Yeah, so as you can see, those are like the pickles right there. You have the shredded chicken on the right and the glutinous rice in the middle. It's pretty damn good. It's really sweet. Chicken in there is a little salty so it, it, it balances itself out. Mmm. Oh, for 25k. walking through this market here in District 1 and every district in Ho Chi Minh City there is a fresh market like this. They sell everything from fresh fruits to uh, recently cut meat to clothing, snacks, just basically everything you can find. I also was really thirsty now I found this Nuk Mia which is sugarcane. Only cost me 10,000 Vietnam dong so super cheap. Oh, as you can see uh, these are the small plastic stools that you tend to sit on when you're eating street food. Uh, right now I'm having a noodle dish. What's in here? Uh, it's just egg noodles with uh, cut up pork and quail egg. I'm not going to finish the whole broth because it's about 100 degrees here. But I am starving. I've been having snacks along the way and I thought it would be a good idea to just finally sit down. right behind me that is uh, the opera house located in district one this was built in the late 1800s and they played a lot of high profile musical events still do so to this day and you know it's a shame that i've been living for seven months and i haven't uh, been in there to see a musical show but uh hopefully soon So right now we are standing in front of the Ho Chi Minh City Hall. Uh, this was built like over 100 or so years ago. If you walk around Vietnam, you can see much of its influence come from the French culture and whatnot. All right, I just spent 30,000 Vietnam dong on coconuts. This is so dang hot out, but so worth it. I think I got overcharged. So right now I'm having some sweet beans with uh, coconut. Uh, this is such a refreshing uh, dessert right now because it's like about 100 degrees. I am sweating so much but it's really delicious. This is only going to be about 10,000 Vietnam dong which is uh, less than a dollar, probably 40 cents. But I'm probably going to give her $50,000 because this woman right here is telling me she works seven days a week but she makes close to nothing she's 80 years old and she says she's been doing this for 25 years just a way to survive and get by through the day uh, she also has a young child that is um, extremely ill and so she does this to help pay for his medical expenses as well uh, it's really sad yeah, so i'm eating the sweeties and my back is killing me why because i'm sitting on these tiny stools So I just grabbed a snack on the street side. Uh, right now I'm having a Vietnamese sandwich called Bun Mi. Uh, I have to thank the French for um, introducing the Bun Mi to Vietnam. French mm. works real to perfection, guys. All right, guys, it's a Thursday night. I have like four hours of lesson planning for tomorrow's lessons. Here, what you're looking at is gum soup. 
pork chop, grilled pork chop, marinated with like sweet and savory fish sauce, topped off with a fried egg. To get along with it is more fish sauce, along with like peppers inside and whatnot. Uh, this is my absolute favorite dish in Vietnam, and I have to give credit to my mom because uh, she, you know, I grew I grew up on this, and I've been eating this ever since I was a child. Uh, and What's even more great about it is that it's only 25,000 Vietnam dong, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy this meal right now. Eating at 12 o'clock, and this is what I've added up. Your mind is gonna be blown. That adds up to 180,000 Vietnam dong. Probably you're wondering, do I spend that amount every day? Uh, sometimes less. I eat Vietnamese food three days out of the seven days of the week, because sometimes, you know, I just need my Fix and I go get Western food, a nice meaty burger, french fries, or pizza, and whatnot. So it's gonna be on the higher end, but you can definitely save in Vietnam. So let's go into our currency converter and convert 180,000 Vietnam dong to US dollars. And what do you get? Uh, right there, guys. So 180,000 Vietnam is about eight US dollars, and it cannot get any cheaper than that. You can live a really nice lifestyle in Vietnam. You can eat out a lot. Uh, if you want to try a lot of Vietnamese food, it does not really cost that much. Um, but yeah, that's you know what I've been doing for the past few months, keeping my budget under like 10 US dollars a day. And well, anyways, I'm gonna get started eating my gum soon. I have four hours of lesson planning, so yeah, I'm gonna get to it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Join back next time to see what other adventures unfold in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, once again, I am your ITA video ambassador, Kenny Nguyen, and good night from Ho Chi Minh City. Bye-bye, guys.